Hi guys, how are you doing today? Well, I owe you an update on my experience with the fast metabolism diet. I had so many of you request for me to do kind of like a final update once we were finished with it. Um, I did do a one week update and I will link that video below. I think it was, um, we were supposed to finish, you know, you do it for 30 days and then of course you can do it again as you'd like. I think it was right before, um, or right after 4th of July, we were going to be finished. So I knew we were going away 4th of July, we're going to my in-laws and there's gonna be good food. And I'd already said in that one week update video that I'd planned on splurging like a little bit. Well, I have to say we did really well. Um, I had a hamburger there. I had some blackberry pie with ice cream, a few chips, but not many. Um, but I still tried to really keep in mind what I was doing. I, I wasn't one of those like in the mindset of, oh, it's the holiday weekend, I'm totally gonna go off track, no. I made sure, you know, I had plenty of snacks and you know, the snacks were good snacks, but I really didn't limit myself. Like we went out to dinner one night and I had dessert, but I felt like I was eating still really well overall. I did start having some coffee, I think, right before then. I feel like that seems so long ago now, it's a little hard for me to remember. So we made it through and maintained our weight. My husband and I both lost about four pounds. I think he actually may have lost a few more pounds than me. So when we came back, we were at the, on the mindset of, we are going to stick with it. Now, if you remember that week one update, I said we were gonna tweak things a little bit. So that's what we did moving forward. I still was not buying chips at the grocery. Um, we weren't eating chips, you know, with like a meal or a sandwich, what I typically do. Um, instead, I would have like cut up cucumber with hummus or maybe I'd have a few pretzel thins. I don't like regular pretzels. I like those pretzel thins um, because they have more of a crunch. They're more like a chip. So I would have those. Like I said, it was those little tweaks that we had made um, that we realized what worked for us going forward. That's what we still kept doing. So I have to say now we still feel like, I wouldn't say we're on a diet because I told you again, I hate that word. Um, it's definitely more of you know, a lifestyle and a mindset change more than anything. And so going forward, we've still been like, okay, we're not gonna totally deprive ourselves. I want a glass of wine or we want some ice cream or something, we're gonna have it. But we're gonna make sure for the most part we stay on track. And I think that's what the diet helped most with me and probably my husband would say the same thing. It put me in a different mindset because I've mentioned before, I'm not the kind of person you can say, oh, you can't have something because I'm immediately gonna want it. Whether I do or not, it's all a mind game with me. So if I just open myself up to, I can have whatever I want, but I choose not to, that works better for me. So for instance, you know, I've been able to maintain, I think we both gained maybe two or three pounds that holiday weekend, but when we got back, and got right back on track, we were able, able to lose it again. And I've lost a couple more pounds since then, but gained them back. I'm one of those people, my weight fluctuates three or so pounds like all the time. I mean, up and down constantly. But I'm also one of those people, if I gain five pounds, you notice it. Like it looks like I've probably gained 10 or 15 pounds. That's what I think you guys are commenting on when you see pictures of me or video that, oh, you look like you've lost a lot of weight. It's only a few pounds, but again, I'm one of those frames that even though I have like hips and a butt and boobs and stuff like that, I'm just one of those that gaining weight, it will show up. But I kind of have a small frame. Does that make sense? Like I definitely have curves and all that and athletic legs, but I definitely um, have a smaller frame. So I'm one of those people, if I gain weight, you're gonna see it. So again, if I only lose three pounds, it may look like I've lost more weight than I have, if that makes sense. So for instance, how I've been staying on track is still trying to limit my carbs. Those are something for me personally, that's how I gain weight and specifically bread. I've been on a low carb, watch my bread intake pretty much for years now because being hypothyroid, um, that's just something I notice. I feel better when I don't do it. I actually went totally gluten-free a couple years ago to see if that would help some of the symptoms I was having. So I've tried to balance that anyway. And then again, over the years, I've noticed that dairy is something that 
puts weight on me. So that was something that when we were doing the fast metabolism diet, you didn't have dairy. And I still tried to stay with that. If something I'm eating comes with like a little bit of cheese on it, I won't necessarily not eat it. I may push it away or not eat it all, but I'm not putting a piece of cheese on my wraps or anything like that anymore what I used to. Definitely when we are having, say, we do like grilled fish tacos, grilled shrimp tacos, um, things like that. I'm not piling on the cheese like I once did, and I don't have any sour cream on it like I once did. I haven't even purchased sour cream in I don't know how long now. So it's little things like that we're cutting out. Of course, um, I cut out drinking milk years ago, so I don't drink any milk anyway, but I've also still um, cut out eating yogurt. I've went back and forth with yogurt. I found a few that I can eat that don't bother my stomach over the last couple years. But I have noticed something, and I've heard many people say this over time, that I think dairy, um, when I do eat it, say yogurt, I think it breaks me out a little bit. Um, I just notice my skin looking more congested if I'm eating it like several times a week. So I've still tried to cut back on the dairy. Um, we're not buying like a bunch of cheese and all that. I will still have like shredded cheese in the house just for like when we do have tacos. So it's more than just lettuce. <laughs> you know, on them. I have had some ice cream now and then. I've mentioned before I go on these kicks with ice cream. I don't have a lot though, so I'm really not consuming a lot of calories um, or sugar. I'll get like a lower fat ice cream, which just means it's made with, you know, a lesser milk fat in it. And, you know, try to watch it like that, but I'm still feeling like I'm indulging, you know. I'm not getting some like fake junk with like a whole bunch of ingredients in it, anything like that, just to save a few calories. I don't like that stuff. I can find, I can eat ice cream once in a while, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes I'll feel bloated if I eat ice cream, but I don't have it that often. But I've still been able to maintain eating it. I will just balance it out. Like, you know, if I've had like a bigger meal that day or more carbs than I should or something like that, then I'm not gonna eat ice cream then on top of it. So it's definitely just made me more aware. I've always been very aware and read labels and things like that, but I think that once we actually went through the whole system of the diet, I'm keeping those thoughts of the phases and things in my mind. I may not be following them to a T, but it's helping to keep me on track if that makes sense. Another thing I'm doing, and I've kind of always done this, is I weigh myself a couple times a week. I feel like that truly keeps me on track. Now, everybody's going to have a different point of view about if you should weigh yourself or not. I know I've went through stages, and I still am kind of this way of like, oh, how do my clothes fit? Um, which is, you know, a good measure for me of how my clothes fit. If my clothes are fitting tight, well, then I need to lay off something or eat some more salad or whatever. But... I find that keeps me in track because you can get off track really quick within a week if you're only weighing yourself maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Um, for again, somebody like me that I say I fluctuate, I can gain three pounds all of a sudden if I'm not weighing myself like every other day and then it's a little harder to reel it back in. And speaking of that, I've also mentioned it's a little harder for me being my age, I'm 42, I'm hypothyroid, um, you know, so it's a little bit harder as you get older and then you add that onto it. People that are hypothyroid, you know, sometimes have issues losing weight or it's harder to lose weight. So speaking of that, I also owe oh, you guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about um, my hypothyroidism lately. It kind of comes and goes, but I owe you guys an update on that, kind of my hormone journey, hypothyroidism as well. I am actually coming up on my three year uh, anniversary since getting officially diagnosed and starting on that journey and a lot has changed since then. So um, that's a key too. Somebody asked me like, how you know do I stay in shape or how do I stay, uh, I don't know what the word they used. Um, being hypothyroid, a lot of it is I got on a correct dosage of medication, I changed my medication, I changed doctors. And again, I'm watching what I eat. So stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be filming that soon. Um, and again, it talks a little bit more um, about weight and not just my hypothyroidism, um, some other hormone issues that I was trying to work out as well. I didn't mention exercise because honestly, I don't do a ton of exercise. I still don't care to exercise. I will try to do arm weights and I do squats. 
I actually do squats several times a week um, just because I have pretty muscular legs anyway. Um, but I definitely could lose some body fat for sure. I mean, my arms, my triceps, um, and my inner thighs, like, you know, I've got some flab there, that's for sure. So I could definitely afford to lose some body fat. Um, I just need to get into a better routine with working out. And if I worked out harder, I'm sure I could lose more weight. I'm just not at a place where that's a priority, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm okay where I'm at now and the way I look. You know, now that I've lost a few pounds, it was where I wanted to be. Um, you know, the rest will come. I also shared with you guys a week of kind of what we were eating for dinner during that process. Um, I haven't done any just because I've traveled here and there since then. And I'm back in that. This I go up and down with food like this. I'm back in that phase where nothing's sounding good. Um, this kind of happens. It's like sometimes the beginning of the summer when it's hot or then you look forward to grilling. Well, then we do the same thing so much that I'm ready to change it up again, but nothing sounds good. Like I'm not inspired. So that's why I haven't been filming the what's for dinner videos again because we've been gone or it's kind of all over the place with eating. I've not really had anything to share and we're kind of just doing the same things, you know. Um, we eat a lot of vegetables, salad. I eat salad probably every day for lunch. So sometimes we'll have salad for dinner, you know, lean proteins, um, sweet potatoes, things like that. I mean, it's kind of boring, <laughs> but what I showed in that video is pretty much what we eat and just rotate. We rotate a lot through ground turkey, grilled shrimp, grilled fish, chicken. That's pretty much. I'll eat a steak now and then. I, I have stages where I want steak a lot and then I won't want it at all. Like it, I just go through that with steak. So we haven't had any actually in a long time. But I hope this um, helps and gives you a little bit of update. You guys wanted to know, you know, how we were doing. So I hope you guys found this helpful or at least, you know, interesting to watch. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.